Hey, it's Carrie at Studio R12, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna show you how to make one of these super popular tiered stands, how to decorate it beautifully, and how you can use stencils to do it right after this. Thanks for joining us live. It's Carrie and Carrie today. <laughs> and we wanted to do something a little bit different for you. So you're used to seeing us painting and doing all the fun things. Yes. But we also have a few other tricks up our sleeve. Carrie is our resident home decor interior design all expert. The all the things. <laughs> she makes all of the magic happen, all the beautiful things that you always see behind us in our live shots. She's the uh, the brain behind all of those. And today we wanted to bring her on here to show us a few different things that we can do to decorate your home and how to use your stencils mm -hmm. to do it. So first, before we get too far into this, make sure that you like and you comment and you share to be entered to win some of our giveaways. So we do have some giveaways today. We're giving away three sets of brushes. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a grand prize giveaway of our welcome to our porch stencil. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you like, comment and share. And while you're doing that, when we are done, make sure you head over to our YouTube page, Studio R12, so you can get notified anytime we do fun videos. We do a lot of videos like this yeah. with the home decor and how to do all of this fun stuff with what you have at home on our Studio R12 YouTube page, so you don't want to miss out on those. All right, Carrie, so we're talking <laughs> about stands. So tell us about these stands. They're so popular right now. I love to use them when you've got a gathering or you've got a birthday party and you just want to give that little extra pop sure. to um, how you display the pieces. Um, that's where these come into play for the functionality of them. So we've got a nice little tiered stand here that would serve well for cupcakes. Um, the stand that I have in front that we've already decorated is just one tier, mm -hmm. but that's a great offering. Say you're doing a picnic style and you want to do your silverware and your napkins oh, yeah. and all your goodies, you pull this out. Pop it down, pop it right back up when you're done. It's just a really fun way to present right. things in your home or things at events or occasions you have. Sure, and mm -hmm. a lot of you guys already might have something like this in your home. A lot of people use these for birthday parties, for cupcakes. Mm -hmm. I actually have these ones in my home. I use them to prop up my water filter, my diffuser, my plants, all of them. So mm -hmm. I already have something like this that you can just pull and build your own, which is awesome. Definitely, definitely. I love the multi-use um, of that. So it's it's wonderful, especially cakes, things like that. So Absolutely. When you're not decorating with them, you can you know pull them out mm -hmm. and use them functionally. Gotcha. Okay, so. Tell us where in the home are places where you're going to have find something like this. Well, it's not limited. Um, I would typically, when I think of them, I think of them in a kitchen environment or around an area where people are going to either pass by a lot. Um, the popularity right now of huge kitchen spaces, yes. huge island spaces, and you've got this great open space. I mean, even as we do with this, but and it's not that you want to clutter everything, but you want to add a little bit of an accent you're pulling it through your house yes. and you don't have any color. If you're doing the white cabinets and everything is white, sometimes it's nice to pull that color in for the seasons. Mm -hmm. um, also, you could do it by a front door. Um, if you wanted to drop your keys, if you wanted to have like little to-go Kleenexes and kind of give yourself a little pre-pack reminder before oh, yeah. you go out. Or um, I love the thought of like reading glasses, pens, little notepad mm -hmm. reminders, and it gives it just a nice nestled place to display it and not make it look like it's a cluttered thing you All forgot to put away. Yes. Right. So even if you're looking for just a little bit of organization, this can help you out. <laughs> it really can. It really can. <laughs> okay, so Carrie, talk to me about, let's start with this one here first. We have kind of a St. Patrick's Day theme going on with this, mm -hmm. so tell us what you did here. Well, what I did with this one, it, I based it off of these cute, adorable little gnomes that we happen to have here. And um, I love the color and I love the texture. So I thought, well, St. Patty's Day, obviously green is the way to go. Um, I also kind of did a little bit of a spring theme just because St. Patrick's Day falls right in that guideline. So I grabbed a smaller piece 
or a larger piece for this scale, which is a small little heart wreath. I thought it was adorable and I love the texture of it to oh, kind yeah. of complement the gnome mm -hmm. hat. And then I really wanted to give a little bit more of a theme uh, for the garden as well. So I threw in a little garden sign. I threw in some little ornaments that are butterflies. So ornaments are a really nice small piece. And if it's not a specific theme, sure. you can incorporate ornaments um, year round in these displays. And they're, they're just nice little miniature detailed pieces to help pull your theme through. Um, I also have little tchotchkes. This is a little good luck turtle that we oh, have. Yeah. So of course you wanna have luck around in these. I have a little good luck penny holder. And then even along the back, which um, you don't have to decorate the back. It does depend on where you want to put sure. your stand. But I went ahead and threw some things in the back as well. And this little piece here is just a block of wood. Um, and that's what I use to go ahead and use these stencils to give a little bit of texture. I didn't want the plain block to show. I wanted a little bit of pattern and visual interest, but I did want those things to be raised along the back to just help out the overall look of how this whole thing went together. So I used the daisy pattern here, which I think yep. is number 1045. Yes, ma'am. And we are there are different size variations, but it gives a really nice background pattern um, and texture. So I really sure. like that one. And it's just something to, you know, add a little extra. Yeah. And I threw it. the card in. I often will get cards from my friends and family mm -hmm. during the different holidays and seasons, and I always love to play display not play but display them around so i just wanted to kind of nestle that idea out there when you have these seasonal things and you get those cards it's kind of nice to group those things together sure. and it really can tell a full story sure so we want to hear from you guys do you have a tray a tray a tiered stand at your house that you currently have decorated with if so let us know some of the things that you've decorated it with we have a bunch of different designs and a bunch of different ways that we're going to show you today but we also love to hear ideas from you guys as well so that we have some ideas of maybe what we can do here so um, as she was showing you some of those things and she told you about some of the things that we had here so we actually have a storefront a boutique in gal place ohio that's called boardroom 46 so a lot of the stuff that you're seeing here is from our boutique so we do a lot of this decorating around our boutique and carrie's the one who makes it beautiful here for us but if you're ever in southeast ohio you have to stop by and see us and if you see stuff in here that you love that's where we got it from yes definitely and i'd, I'd like to point out that this isn't just all brand new items that you have to include in these things. You can easily incorporate keepsakes that you have around your house, small mementos that will just give you a little spark of cheer when you see it when you pass through the room. That makes it more personal. Agreed. And I love incorporating those things when we can mm -hmm. and definitely do that at home, um, especially the smaller items that you wouldn't rest out on itself to be swept away, but you can present it really nicely and safely sure. in a display right. piece like this. Yeah, and let, let us hear from you guys with that too. Um, at my house, I have, um, my dad wore glasses his entire life, and when he passed away, I had an abundance of his glasses. I think he kept every pair he ever had his entire life. So now I have his glasses sporadically around my house with all of my books and all the areas that look very studious. Nice. I put his glasses around. So for me, my keepsake that I decorate with is glasses. So do you guys have any keepsakes that you decorate with? Let us know. That's something That's super, super fun. That's super cute. That is super cute. Okay, so we moved on from St. Patrick's Day, and now Carrie is going to show you how to build an Easter tray, which I'm super pumped about. It was hard to <laughs> narrow this one down because we have so many cute things um, around the uh, boutique for decorating for this. So I'm, I can show you some. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use this little bitty tin. Now, when else. you guys are gathering things with yes. this, you're going to have more than what you need, likely. Oh, yes. So gather all the things that you think that you might want to use mm -hmm. and pick and place and try, and then you'll probably have to put some things away. We had a whole <laughs> table full of stuff, and then we're like, okay, what are we going to narrow this down yeah. to? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to lay out what I narrowed okay. down to. <laughs> But um, what I chose, I love these little figurines. I love the different ways they face. This is a great opportunity because you do have always an issue in height mm -hmm. when you're doing a multi-tier. Yeah. So I knew I needed the little guy, but I was hoping I could fit him in too, so we'll get that working. I did a small vase. Um, I wanted flowers for my vase, so I selected some flowers. 
Um, I think that bunnies love carrots. I don't know if yes. you agree or not. But, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so I pulled some of our um, artificial carrots here, and I pulled more than I ended up using, but it's, again, it's always nice to, to have, have the extra. extra. Yeah. Um, I also pulled some different small flowers. You'll find when you're doing something that is visual from all perspectives, you'll sometimes have those blank voids, and little things like this are just charmers. They just, they fit right in, they fill that space and you don't have to worry about it. So I also got some moss. This is going to help just ground this gray tone that I'm working with right now to just bring a little more pop of color. Um, I have things like little mini wreaths. These mm -hmm. are great to work with. Absolutely. Um, laying them flat if you just want to add something to the center. Large wreaths are really great to work with too, and I didn't use one in this, but I just want to show you, if you want a ton of color, you simply put that right down into the center of that and call it a day. It adds everything that you want. You can add little bits of color Absolutely. to the top, but wreaths are great to use and for projects like this. it makes it a like little, it, it widens it out a little bit. So yeah. if you have one of the really big counters or really big tables, even on a dining room table, that's going to help take up a little bit more space if your tray is smaller. Definitely, definitely. Um, I do have some other little things around, like little chicks like this. <laughs> so cute. Because they're just so cute. <laughs> um, popular right now, obviously the, the gnomes, gnomes. Little bunny gnome. I didn't fit him in, but I just had to show you. He's adorable. Um, and then I chose small blocks of wood. And I painted them with Studio R12 stencils. Mm -hmm. um, this is a free form. I grabbed the shapes. I selected some letters. What's lovely about the two that I chose, this one here is 331. It gives you a great variation from he is risen, peace, um, all kinds of Easter themed sure. sayings. So you can get a lot out of this, not just for this project, but for cards or mm -hmm. larger scale pieces. I loved it. And then this lovely stencil. 1046. 1046. This is, I think, the larger size. You can go smaller, but I wanted these eggs. I wanted these little chicks. So yeah. using it either as an overall pattern, as a background, or using it for an individual small piece, either way it can work. So and Noelle's going to post all the links to all of the stencils that we used in this project mm -hmm. so that you guys can see them and check them out as well. Yep. So I went ahead and I pre-painted these, and I did stick with a little bit of the same palette as you can see. So I added kind of a neutral brown gray, just a little bit of warmth. I kept that pink running through. Um, also to kind of work with the carrots, um, sometimes your mind plays tricks on mixing the colors when you use like a pink and yes, a yellow. So absolutely. I went ahead and did that to pull the orange carrot through without using all orange. So now we're gonna set this out. I wanna look at height first and see where my limitations are. Okay. So. I went first, obviously the bunny is a great fit for inside, so we know he's gonna go inside sure. there. I then looked at, you have no barrier here on the mm -hmm. top, so I was gonna go ahead and probably use this bunny, it's between these two. Okay. But you get into this kind of sign size, he fits perfectly. Sure. Again, blocks of wood that are scrap, go to your garage, dig through that yeah. pile of, you just didn't wanna throw it out, <laughs> but you don't know what to do with it, they're great for these. Um, and all right, let's just start to play. I wanted to give my bunny some nesting. Okay, so we're gonna start with the greenery on this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Gonna pull just a little bit of color for him because we don't want him to fade away. He's with such a similar gray. tone right. with the uh, galvanized nettle. So we're gonna pop him there. And then this house, it's not the perfect size. He doesn't fully fit in but I liked the way that he just kind of nestled just outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and place him in, but he's gonna stick out a little bit. Okay. And I'm not gonna worry about that. There are no rules. There are no rules it's, at it's, all. It's hard for, for some of us to, to do things like this and think, oh, it doesn't fit, I can't <laughs> use it. You can, there are no rules. If yeah. you love it, use it. You completely can. So I'm turning it around as I go because I'm gonna plan on this one to be seen from all angles. Um, say it's going to go in the middle of an island. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this larger one. Since he can fit, I'm going to go ahead and put him in that lower tier, and I'm going to stick him right along the edge. So he's going to hang out right there. Gotcha. And as Carrie's decorating this, um, let us know, are you here for the live at noon? Are you here for the recast at 9? We have 
bunch of fun stuff. If you're just joining us, Carrie, Carrie, both the Carries are here with you today <laughs> doing something a little different, mm -hmm. doing a little decorating, and how you can use your stencils to do it. Yep. Okay. All right, so what we got next? Well, I want to get some of these in here. So I'm going to actually remove this real quick. Okay. And I'm going to stick these carrots so that they add a little bit of visual interest on that side there. Loving the carrots because it gives you not only the pop of color of the carrot mm -hmm. itself, but the greenery on the other side. Right. Great advantage there. And the texture and also the, the length, it, it brings yeah. it outside of the tray. It really I does. have learned so many good words from Carrie when it comes <laughs> to decorating. Once you start doing things like this and you realize, oh, I can do that. And you can try the different it's pretty things. Fun. Yeah, it is pretty fun. It's very empowering. So I know I wanted to put my vase on the top and this brings a lot of height to this piece. And that's going to probably help me determine. Sure. Definitely going to put my other sign up here. Right. And now we're going to talk about these little sprigs that we love so much. I don't know which bunny I'm going to put up here yet. I think I'm going to try him. Okay. Try him right there. So let's flip it around. All right. And so the beautiful thing about this tray with the handle is that you can just Flip it around. it around. So if you have one area that you want to focus on, you can put that area out front first. And then here in a couple days, you can switch it around later and have a completely different view for your home. Yep. So now I'm looking for those holes that we talked about. And I don't have a lot on the top. I have a few more along the bottom. So I'm going to nestle a few of these flowers, particularly around this house, because that house has a lot of void to it but I have something special in mind for that house, so. You will be excited. For that. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. I think I'm about done. I'm gonna stick okay. this last one just to, pull the, just to pull this new white flower I've introduced into this all the way through. I'm gonna okay. go ahead and stick one more along the back of this bunny here just so he's, it's consistent. I feel fit. Now nestling all this sometimes is fun, but. Just gotta get him to slide down in there. Okay. Okay. So what I love is going on that is going on right now is all these different textures. Sure. I love using different textures. I don't want to match everything, or your eye will just visually wipe through it really, really quickly. Right. You want the eye to stop in little areas. Um, so we have a pretty good, almost complete tier right now as it goes. No matter which angle awesome. you're going around. But I'm not done. I'm not sure if it just has enough going on. Okay. So this is where the little tchotchkes come in. So I have this cute little bottle of mustard seed. Always have faith. It comes with a little card. This can be a gift that maybe somebody bought you mm -hmm. as a little keepsake reminder. These are the things to pull yeah. out to really yes. make it a little more personal. So I'm going to take this mustard seed and right in the front of this little bunny crossing, I'm just gonna nest him in there and I'll probably stick the card maybe around to the side. So if somebody's visiting my house yeah. and they just kinda wanna know what is going on, this is gonna give them a little bit of a reminder. And I'm gonna- I love that. And it just adds there. just a little pop and it, it brings a nice meaning to it as yes. well. Yes, yes. I also have a small cross, so I'll do the same thing and I'll set that right in front of the other sign down here and it's, it's not extremely noticeable, but it is one of those things, if somebody's really coming in and looking, it's, sure. it's a little surprise. Well, and it's something that you know is there see. as well. Exactly. So that when you are, if you have this in your kitchen and you're having your morning coffee, you can remember, oh, look, I have my mustard seed, little paper here, and you can read it, and yeah. it's just got a nice little thing yeah. with it. And actually, I was, I was planning on putting this in that little house, but he doesn't quite want to <laughs> fit. I think we're okay. I'm going to stick. I have another little tchotchke that is just a little follow your heart reminder. Okay. So I'm, I use a lot of things like this also to fill the voids. It's not a requirement in any way, sure. shape, or form. But that pretty much completes this That's one. awesome. Look so, how well that came together. Yeah. And you can use, I use third bunny. You can keep everything on your tray, mm -hmm. but I usually like to go ahead and set a few things down in front of it and around it. And okay. again, if you want to go ahead and use, say you a have card. cards, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and group those cards around. Sure. And it just gives you a really nice 
Right. Oh, I love how that looks together. And a really nice focal point. Yeah, so. love that. Okay, guys. Yeah. So, reminder to like and comment and share this so that you can be entered into our giveaway. We have brushes to give away, and then we also have our front porch stencil. Mm -hmm. So we will be announcing those tomorrow morning. All right, so we have one more that we want to talk about. Yes. And this is our everyday one. So I'm gonna switch yes. you places okay. so that you can come over here and talk about our everyday tray. Okay. What we did with this was keep a very simple color theme. If you have a very neutral house, um, we're, we'll pull, we're pulling that topiary kind of feel, the really crisp greens, really nice and aligned greens, tight greens. Um, but we're, this is a little bit more of like a display. You've got a really nice timepiece here that is actually functional, um, a really nice set of um, measuring spoons, mm -hmm. but very decorative. So are you gonna stick these in your drawer or are you gonna display them? You, right. know, you can display <laughs> them and use them. Um, so things like that, it draws the eye. We added a little bitty iron welcome sign. Um, again, using the topiary wreaths, using small ornaments to kind of pull in that little bit of color. But this is a fairly neutral palette and the only thing that is signifying a season right now in this, I believe, is the butterflies. Right. So butterflies kind of give us this theme. We have a little little bitty tray here yeah. that has the flower in it, um, giving you kind of a general everyday theme. So now we're going to transform it to Christmas. These are the interchangeable things that if you, if you use things like this, you don't have to do a whole lot to change this oh, out sure. for every season. And this is more of the kind of thing that I would do in my home. I decorate for Christmas. I'll put out some pumpkins. But I don't always decorate for all of the seasons. So something like this that's very neutral that I can keep up year-round. And then I can add a little bit here and there to give it an extra little festive feel. Like with the, the little butterfly just to add a pop of color. Yes. is definitely something that would be more up my alley. So the first thing that's the easy thing is you've got to get your letters on. So we're definitely going to um, give a little shout out to Santa. Yes. So we're going. We're going. We're going to do a little Christmas theme as well. So we've kind of got all the holidays. <laughs> it's just going. a way to show you the the versatile. Sure. The, these are so versatile. They're okay. So versatile. So we've got our ho 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 now. I have a cute little penguin, and he really does set the mark for. Christmas for mm -hmm. winter, really right. for winter. Um, and then I, again, have very small ornaments. And these serve as wonderful signs. So now we can tell you Merry Christmas up here. And pull in, let's see. So when you're doing these, it's easy as she's showing that you don't have to fully take it apart. If you love what you have as your decoration in your home, just switch a couple things switch out, a add a couple things, things mm -hmm. and then it's, it's updated and it looks new and it looks fresh for whatever you're decorating it for. Yes. All right, and we want to hear from you guys. Are you guys loving this today? We're having a lot of fun, but we want to hear from you and see if this is the kind of thing that you might like to see more of. Um, we do a lot of this stuff here and in our boutique, so we're always changing things around. So these are the kinds of things that we are able to offer more of if it's something that you are loving. Actually, go ahead and just move him out sure. there. So just the simplicity of doing something like that mm -hmm. is going to transform the look of this for the season minimal. Just minimal, but that little nod to, okay, we're in Christmas mode. Or sure. In, you know, well, and this one is more set up. So with our our Easter tray, we have it set up for 360. And yes. this one is set up for more of just a, a front tray. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference in you know stacking it forward rather than stacking it all around. Yep. All right, anything else you wanna add? No, these are just too fun. They are, they are super fun, super festive. We hope that you guys have loved this as much as we have. Don't forget to like, comment, and share to enter our giveaway. We will be announcing those tomorrow. And head over to YouTube and hit the subscribe button so that you can see more things like this on the Studio R12 page. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a great day.